Right then, this is a bit of a long one. Today we are repotting Money Penny. This is Money Penny. Just to plant this out the front of your house as much as you can, really, and it, it's supposed to bring wealth and abundance to you in different types of wealth, you know, like emotional as well. Emotional as well. Money Penny. So we've taken one of those, exactly the same size pot, and we've literally pulled it out, split it down. And we've got some, some lovely money pennies. And the reason I've done this, my front garden, keep weeding it, but the plan is I'm going to strip it out because it's a raised planter at the front. I'm going to strip it out, weed sheet it, and put some really good topsoil and some compost mix in there. And then when I do that, I'm going to spread the money penny out around the garden. What am I doing? Well, these are just cardboard pots and they're drainage holes. I've used these because they only need to be in them for maximum two weeks. Yeah, maximum two weeks. And I'm sure the cardboard can hold up till then. They'll be on a tray outside, not in direct sunlight, because Money Penny, when it's growing from little bunches that you've snapped off from the main plant, um, it doesn't like direct sunlight straight away. It needs a little bit of time to recuperate and plenty of water. Plenty of water. You have to give it a really good soaking, um, but make sure the tray underneath is not. It's not sitting in water, but make sure they are soaked. And then it's everyday spray. And it's a good spray all over. Um, usually every night. The next video I'm doing is I'm gonna be repotting one of my succulents. And then once the sun's moved that last couple of feet, we'll go around and we'll water everything. As you can see, you've got the cactus here. Plenty of succulents. So yeah. And money penny is extremely hardy. When you buy it, it comes in a pot like a chunk. And it is literally like soil and loads of roots. But because it's not just one main stem, one main root, you can actually break it down into smaller. You know, it's got to have a good root pack on it. But you can, smaller handfuls. So from these two plant pots that I've got now that I'm doing... I actually bought two very small plants that were approximately this size, 